In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps used in modeling the RC column. Setting material properties, prescribing the needed boundary conditions, and also applying axial loading and blast loading to the RC column. We're also going to model perfect bonding between the concrete and the reinforcements. By the end of this video, we would have modeled an RC column which will be ready for analysis. In the modeling of the reinforcement, beam elements were used. The following steps illustrate how the 10M stirrups, 300mm spaced, and the 25M longitudinal bars were modeled. Click on the Curve button located on the toolbar on the right hand side of the LS proposed UI, as shown. Under the curve button, click on the line command. Enter the following coordinates for line 1, line 2, line 3, and line 4. This leads to the creation of the square figure shown below which forms the skeleton of the transverse reinforcement. Note, the coordinates of the square that forms the center line of the 10M stirrups are calculated based on a cover of 30 mm plus half of the stirrup diameter, which is 5 mm. Next, under the geometry menu, select geometry tools and click on transform. For the transform type, select translate. Under the source entity, make sure all the four generated edges are selected. Change the translation direction to Z. Enter 300 millimeters for the distance. Select copy in order to duplicate rather than move the selected lines. Click on apply to translate the selected edges. Next click on zoom to see the transformation. After a successful copy, change the subsequent distances to 600mm, 900mm in 300mm intervals until finally 3000mm. Again, click on the zoom in to see all your translated transverse reinforcements. The generated model thus far should look like this. In order to match the stirrups on the LS purpose GUI, at the top left hand side, click on the assembly button and select all the generated lines forming the stirrups. Click on linear edge one, scroll down to the bottom until linear edge 52 hold down shift and click to select all next click on the element mesh button on the toolbar dock to the right of the gui under the element mesh select element generation from the element generation ui make sure your beam is selected under the beam by drop down box, select curve, check the third node, check box, and set the direction to Z. Select the size and set its value to 50. Again, make sure 
all the elements are selected click on create and then apply this creates beam elements of size approximately 50 millimeters per finite element save the project And then continue if we should zoom in a little bit you will see the finite elements generated to generate a 425 m long tunnel bus again click on the curve button located on the toolbar right hand side of the LSP post UI under the curve button click on line and enter the following coordinates for the longitudinal bus. This results in the figure generated on screen. In order to match the generated longitudinal bus, again, we follow a similar procedure to that used to match the transverse. On the LS Prepost GUI at the top left hand side position, Click on the assembly button and then select the last four linear edge lines. Click on the element generation button. Select beam. Change the part ID to two. Under the beam by drop down box, select curve, make sure curve is selected. Make sure that the third node checkbox is checked. Select X for direction. And in the size, enter 50. Again, make sure the last four lines are selected. And then click on create. This results in the mesh node along children reinforcements and click on accept and done. If we zoom in further, we will see the meshed transverse bars as well as the mesh long children bars. In order to model the concrete, the ship measure tool is used. Locate the shape measure on the top of the right dock tool menu. Using a mesh size of 25 millimeters, follow the steps we look. Under entity, make sure box solid is selected. Enter the coordinates. As shown, select the size and set the X, Y, and Z sizes to 25 millimeters. Set the target part name to concrete. Set the target part ID to 3 and then click on as create and then accept and then done. This results in the creation and the meshing of the reinforced concrete column. 